welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And it's A24's latest horror film, as well as a prequel to a movie we got earlier this year. My review of the 2022 horror film, Pearl, coming up now. Set in 1918, a young woman named Pearl lives on her family's farm while Howard, her husband, is serving in the war. Pearl's father is paralyzed from illness and her mother is overbearing. Of course, Pearl dreams of a life off of the farm and wants to become a big star. While her mother is against the idea, Pearl becomes a bit unhinged and decides nothing will stop her from auditioning for an upcoming part. So what did I think of Pearl? I thought it's a commendable horror prequel. It's directed by Ty West, who's best known for directing films such as The Innkeepers, House of the Devil, In a Valley of Violence, and of course, X. While I liked X fine, I wasn't as hyped about it as many others were, and I feel like I'm in the same boat for this film. The movie acts as a prequel to X, giving us an origin story to the crazy, homicidal, sex-obsessed old lady. It's certainly a great-looking film, and I loved its production design, costumes, and use of the main and closing titles and their designs. It definitely has a uniqueness and different tone to it, making it feel a lot different than X, but still connects to it. I enjoyed its homages to old Hollywood, especially The Wizard of Oz, from Pearl riding the bicycle to a scene featuring a scarecrow that's interesting. Being set in the time of the Spanish flu, it's an intriguing parallel as the characters are wearing masks from, from that pandemic. While there's nothing exactly scary, there are a couple of cool kills that end up being rather bloody and gory. There is a good sense of danger, however the thrills are predictable and we can tell when she's going to go off the rails after certain characters. There's also a moment or two that feel out of place and are eye-roll inducing. The story gives us a very slow beginning, and while we see her descent into more madness, this build ends up just being a bit bland. Goth does get a nice nine-minute monologue towards the end of the film, which is pretty impressive. The cast stars Mia Goth, who also co-wrote the film this time with West, as Pearl, the young woman who wants to become a famous dancer, David Cornsweet as the projectionist, who encourages Pearl to pursue her dreams and is attracted to her, Tandy Wright as Ruth, Pearl's oppressive mother, and Emma Jenkins Perot as Mitzi, Pearl's sister-in-law also looking to audition to be a dancer. There's also a third film on the way called Maxine, and while I don't know if all this screams to be a trilogy, but this surprise franchise does have its fans. While I don't think it's the horror masterpiece some are making it out to be, Pearl is a serviceable prequel with some bloody fun to be had. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of... Do It. A small do it, but a do it nonetheless. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox at West A List. Until next time, Troop. Out.